Hey Karen Casa fam, today we're breaking down how to draw up and administer a TB skin test, also known as a PPD test. Whether you're a nursing student or brushing up on your skills, this demo will have you confident in just a few minutes. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Let's get into it and grab your supplies. Step one, first things first, always set yourself up for success with your supplies ready to go. So make sure you have your tuberculin syringe, one mil, 26 to 27 gauge needle, alcohol swabs, a vial of PPD solution, gloves, sharps container, and dry gauze. Step two, if you learned something new, consider subscribing. Now let's draw up the dose. Pop the top and clean the top of the vial with an alcohol swab. Don't forget to check the expiration date. I'll be inserting the needle and drawing up carefully 0.1 mils of purified protein derivative. That's the exact amount of a TB skin test. As a pro tip, you want to make sure there are no bubbles as accuracy matters. Step three, let's administer the injection. A TB skin test is given intradermally on the patient's non-dominant hand of their inner forearm. I will position the arm palm up and choose a site free of abrasions. I'll inject into a forearm that's about two to four inches below the bend of the elbow. So that's about four fingers below the injection site. I'll cleanse the site with an alcohol prep and let it dry. Don't forget to stretch the skin taut. With the needle bevel up, at a five to 15 degree angle, I'll slowly inject 0.1 mils of solution and you'll notice it forms a small round bleb that looks like a blister. If you see that little bubble, congrats, you nailed it. I call it the bubble of success. Okay, so then you'll gently withdraw the needle and dispose of in the sharps container. Step four, teaching and documentation. After the injection, instruct your patient not to touch the site, scratch or press, do not cover the site with a band-aid as the site will be read by a trained professional in about 48 to 72 hours to check for induration, not redness. And that's it. So simple, quick, and effective. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your classmates. And hey, drop a comment if you want me to demo another injection skill. Until next time, keep caring with confidence and I'll catch you on the next one.